Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make an image on a part change automatically. This tutorial is very similar to a previous tutorial I did on how to make text change automatically, but instead in this tutorial, we're going to be changing an image every couple of seconds. Just before the video begins, I would just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So once we've enabled Explorer in Properties, we now want to head up to the top bar here, click on Home, and now we want to insert our board. This is going to be the board that is going to be holding all the images that we upload. So you, you know, for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it very basic, but let's just go and make a simple board like that and just make sure to anchor it so it doesn't fall all over the place. And now you can go and rename it. It doesn't really matter too much for this tutorial. We'll go and rename it Screen just so we can easily find it. Now inside our screen part, which is going to be holding the image, images, we want to go and insert a decal. And now we want to select on where we want the image to be actually shown. And you, can, you can kind of see a kind of a faint line just around the actual part face. So for this tutorial, we're going to be wanting to actually put it on this one. But let's say you wanted it, for example, on the back here or on the top, you could put it there and you just select it. But you've got to, got to, got to want to make sure that you select it onto the front face just like that. And you can also, in the properties of the uh, decal, you can adjust on where you want the decal to be on the part, but that is an easy way to do it. So now that you've gone and done this, you don't really need to add anything else into this decal, unless you want it to start off with like a starter image, that's up to you, but it's really not necessary because you won't see that image throughout the whole entire process of when the images are changing. Anyway, so once you've gone and done that, you wanna head over back to your screen uh, part, or the part that is going to be showing the UI and you want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted a script into our part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code into the script, we need to go and change a couple of things. So you'll be able to see it says a lot of areas, it says your link. Basically what we are doing is we are, because what we are changing the texture of the decal every one second. So now what we want to do, when we put a decal into the decal texture area, if we just put an ID, it will make it into a link. So I'm going to go in and show you now. So we want to go to our main Roblox page and whatever images you have for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using some images. I uploaded it as a meme. We've got the Jamal Burger. If anyone's been watching my live streams recently, you'll know what this is. We've also got a, a, a Shrek Im image here. We got some dog extremely happy image and we got a, a like, kind of like a Roblox dog sort of thing. So some really random images, but for this tutorial, they will do the trick. So what we want to do is here, um, you want to go up to the top link here and you want to copy the first big bunch of numbers. Okay, you want to copy that and then you want to bring that back to Roblox Studio. And now you want to go over to the decal and where it says texture, you want to go and insert that ID. Okay, now you want to insert that ID until it gives you kind of this sort of link looking sort of thing. Then you want to go and click on the texture, copy that right there, so control C, right click, copy, whatever, whatever. And you want to bring that back to the script. And then between the two um, quotation marks or uh, speech marks, you want to go and remove that. So it's like that. And then paste in that link that you just copied from the decal. Now, yes, it will show us the Jamal's Jalux poster and everything, but you don't it doesn't really matter if that's there. You can also just delete that and it's gone just like that. But now you want to do that on all images you want. So I'm going to show you again. Let's say now we're going to go and get the, the Shrek image, for example. We just go copy the ID. We take it back to Roblox Studio. Remove the thing there. We go to our decal. We set the texture to the ID. Then we wait for it to, go, to give us the link. Then we copy that. And then we take it back to the code and paste it in between the quotation marks. And as you can see, we've now got the second link. And you want to do this until you have filled up all your areas. And keep in mind, if you don't, if you only want it to alternate between maybe one or two, or oh, sorry, two or three decals, all you do is you just go and remove this part right here. That's all you remove. And if you want to add additional ones, all you do is you copy this sort of part here, you enter a new line, and then you just paste it in like that. And obviously, you just change the texture link. So once you've finished adding your image links, it should look something like this now. And depending on how many images you have, 
Obviously, it may look different, but now that we've got all our image links, I'll give you a bit of an explanation on what happens here now on how the code will run. So this is a loop up here. A while true do is basically a loop. So anytime someone's in the game, this will continuously loop forever and ever. And it doesn't really matter on what happens. It's just going to continue going. So now what we'll go and go on here. So we go to decal and decal equals script dot the parent and then back to decal. So that is our decal. We are going straight to our decal. Then we are changing the texture, which is the ID here. We're changing it to this. And then obviously this is or whatever your link is. And the same thing here. Then after one second, it'll change to this image. Then after one second again, it will change to that image. One second, that image and so on. And then it will keep looping those images. Now you are able to adjust the wait time on how often you want the images to change. For this tutorial, we're going to keep them as one, but you can go set them to maybe if you want them to only change every minute, you set it to 60 seconds. But if you want only like every two minutes, for example, you set it to 120 or five seconds. It's completely up to you. But for this tutorial, we will keep it as one. But now once you've gone and adjusted everything, we want to go up here, click on the play button to go test it out. As you guys can see behind me, we have now got the images changing automatically. So after one second, the image changes. So we're at the happy dog here, the Roblox dog, the Jamal burgers, and also the Shrek there. And then it will continue looping forever and ever, as long as someone is in the server. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.